Good morning and happy new year. We are at La Pastura, just outside of Todos Santos. Pretty cool camping spot, other than the fact we got stuck last night. La Pastura is a great surf spot. Right now there's a little wave, a couple surfers out there, but uh, in the summer it's supposed to be really awesome. And um, so if you're out here in the summer, plan on camping with a whole bunch of people. We're definitely not alone. Do mind the soft sand, don't come in at night. If you do, come in with a friend who can help push you out. Hopefully other people help push you out. Seems to be a really chill place. Toto Santos has become popular for the turtles that they release on the beach, the baby turtles. And we're gonna go try to do that first day of the year. There's a lot of people here. It's definitely tourist season and uh, word got out. But that's okay, it's good for the turtles. So let's go see if we can find a turtle to release into the water. This is one of the organizations we wanna work with and uh, kind of feature to show you if you're in the Toto Santos area, it's a little bit more formal. You go and sign up through their website and they actually ask for a donation slash fee to volunteer. Um, and that's just to help cover some of the expenses throughout the year. It's totally 100% volunteer run and donor based. So that's one of the ways that they raise money for this uh, project. But if you're interested in that, we'll make sure to have the information in the description and a little write up that we do on this organization because it is a fantastic way to get involved when you travel. Even if you just come out and watch the babies go into the water, still a pretty spectacular thing to see. I'm so excited. Me and 500 other people as well. Pastora again this morning. We're gonna go meet up with Paris who works with the turtles. Paris told us about a recycling program that's taking place in Todos Santos. So we're really excited about that. And uh, before we do that, the dog and I are gonna go down and watch surfing. Oh, good. Thank you. 
So we get in a bag like this, someone that's doing the recycling, um, they will give a donation um, for the recycling. Oh. Um, and then we usually try to intercept it and look at it, do a little quality control before they leave so that stuff that is not recyclable, we can tell them, hey, don't bring this one next time. Yeah. And it has to be all number one and number two for plastic. Exactly. That's the only plastic we take. So we dump it out at our sorting table and put a bag somewhere where we can give the bag to someone else for so we can reuse, reuse. the bags. Um, otherwise, they'll get burned in the desert. So I think this looks like his little bag spot. Um, and then basically we go through. This one is colored, and so we put it into, and it's number one. And you'll get to know the numbers pretty quick. But all little um, plastic has a little triangle with the number inside. The number huh. is denotes to the type of plastic. And if you mix number one and number five, when they go to process at the recycle plant, they don't mix. It's like oil and water, different types of plastic. Okay. And so you won't be able to use that that batch if you have too much contamination. And that's the contamination is the big issue. So you can see there's a little recycle thing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's recyclable. It means it's the number of plastic. Okay. Um, the one on and then the different places recycle different numbers. So this one's number one and it's colored. And so we find the one here. Uh, this is number one colored. So we put it in that one. And then basically this one, number one, it's clear. Slice it, put it in a number one clear. Hmm. Number one color is on yep. the You get your recognition going pretty quick. Just kind of squeeze it. It's there. Uh, colored, number one. Slice it. Okay. These ones are number two. Um, you have to look, especially most of these are pretty clean because they're just water. But you'll get ones like this and a milk carton. You've got to look inside and make sure that there's not a ton of dried up milk all over. Because if there's too much, it's not recyclable. Yeah, it's not I mean, this is borderline too dirty. Um, but just about okay. This one, mm -hmm. number two. You can tell it's a different yeah. type of plastic. It feels different when you squeeze it. So, number two. My friend um, put his nose. <laughs> Number one, clear. If you are confused and you look, every now and then we ask Alex. He knows everything. <laughs> and then we do clear glass. Only. No, no colored glass because then, I don't know why, we can't do, our buyers don't do colored, right? Because the, the, the master of the glass, he makes like these pieces from the barrel. And the color don't control the texture and the color only accept clear, no color glass. So this one is all reused locally. Exactly, then. exactly. Right. In Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, so it's, it's, done, it's not going very far. Green circle. Hmm. Full circle. Mm -hmm. So it's really just being reused, uh, reshaped. These couples came from the, these bottles. Oh, okay. So it turned into our projects. That's neat. Basically, yeah. Um, cardboard we do has to be totally clean without oil. If you have a pizza box, mm -hmm. too dirty. Huh. But oil in the pizza box is is just like mixing with different types of plastics. You, mm -hmm. If you have oil on it, it'll ruin the whole back of pulp. It won't be sticky. Right. I think of it like rice. When you have sushi rice, it has to stick together. Mm -hmm. You add soy sauce to it, it won't stick together. That's like the paper. It won't stick together if you have oil on huh. it. It's Same. fun when you get really fast at it. Same thing, cut the... Um, or just take you could cut it or you could just take the cap off. Oh, or make sure the cap so you can squeeze it enough. We have a spot where we've been collecting caps too, huh, right? What? We collect yeah, the caps sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. There's a lot of we caps in there. Yeah, the, a lot of caps down there. For the cancer, children cancer. Is number two? Number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see through it, so it's here. You can't see through it there. So old computer, but we've taken all of the actual motherboards out. Mm -hmm. This is the valuable part that can be recycled. Um, there's heavy metals, little pieces of gold. Um, silver. Silver. Copper like this. 
copper. Mm -hmm. um, the whole plate goes to the recycle, right? Yeah. I need uh, and then there's there. another step there. We will take the it's very complicated. capacitors mm -hmm. off exactly. uh, individually and sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it is the urban urban mining because we we save the metal like copper, mm -hmm. tin, bronze, silver, gold. Mm -hmm. Let me show you something. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. It's a small gold smell. That's gold, huh? Wow. Yeah, some gold and then uh, yeah. bronze. Oh, bronze. Well, mostly bronze, right? Yeah. Yeah. And some pieces is gold, plated Just gold. Plated, very thin plated. amount. Yeah. It's much better from the computers, but from the from the mining in the land. It's very toxic. The mining. No? Right. Getting the gold mining industrial yeah. is very toxic. Mm -hmm. Very toxic. So if we could otherwise these end up scattered around the desert. Exactly. <laughs> and all the styrofoam and toxic plastic and all kinds of computer chips that are not recycled mm -hmm. here are burning and it all goes right over the Pescadero El Cerrito community exactly. with mm. schools uh, and people that live there. Uh, really bad. Very bad. That in. There's, yeah. there's lots of you know alerts. Say, oh, the dump's burning. Everyone, keep your windows, doors shut. Don't go outside. So, more people are realizing it, but it's a big uh, problem everywhere in the world. Yeah, we work together in the in this problem. Exactly. We try to fix it. In a short, a middle, and long time, we work in the, the town, mm -hmm. burn whatever. We try to keep the trash. Out the dump, the dump. Yeah. It's very complicated. But and anything non biodegradable, shove it in there. It's mm -hmm. not going Little anywhere. plastic wrappers. If you have number five plastic and mm -hmm. you want to go above and beyond, shred it up and stuff it in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, we will build something out of this and it'll stay contained here instead of looking like jellyfish out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. We're getting yeah. burned into our breath. It's uh, a special. Lots of plastic bags. Part for bodies. I love this one because there's nothing else to do with plastic bags besides reuse them until there are holes in them. Yeah. Uh, nothing else to do with these little six pack rings. If you can find a way yeah, to use those to for a them. project, yeah. that's way better than having them all over the place. So yeah. we stuff them inside of these mm -hmm. and we'll build a wall with them. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of my favorite. Everyone should have an eco brick, just a two liter bottle. Mm -hmm. If you don't drink two liter sodas, you don't use two liter bottles, you don't use plastic, there's plenty of them out there. Yeah, just You'll find one them. after walking for two blocks. Stuff out a little piece, pieces in. So any little bits of plastic that we find, we have stuff in there. Mostly it's best for plastic bags that are not reusable. We can't not make friends. Yeah, it's so hard not just make friends. We make friends Cause... everywhere we go. If you slap the tape one more time, then we're not going to be friends anymore. I'm sorry. We make friends everywhere we go. And the other day, we were going up to the turtle rescue and kind of talked with this guy, and he was a little standoffish. And then we got to talk to him a little more. Yeah. And really, really awesome guy. Paris, shout out if you're watching this. We love you. It's been awesome meeting you. Paris kind of gave us the rundown for the turtles and introduced us to Alex with the recycling program and uh, invited us out to what is a really cool event for the turtle program. Yeah, it is their 10 year anniversary, which is actually really special because it takes 10 years for turtles to become sexually mature and to come back to the beach where they were, I guess, <laughs> born. <laughs> You said, be mature. What? Be mature. I said beach. No, you said... I did not. Be mature. Oh, sexually be mature. <laughs> Should I say it another way? No. Oh, well, how else are they supposed to... Just say that, that they can come back and lay eggs in 10 years. So in 10 years, <laughs> turtles come back, they reach maturity at 10 years, and then they come back to the beach where they were born, or where they hatched and they lay their eggs. 
And so. so this 10 years marks the first generation of turtles that were potentially rescued by this particular turtle rescue. So that's pretty cool. It's like they're, they're now having kids. Mm -hmm. So it's the next generation. And they're celebrating the 10 year anniversary tonight at a restaurant. We're gonna go in, it's a little restaurant bar. Um, chill and grill. Chill and grill. And there's a reggae band of sorts. We've heard them outside. We're looking forward to going and hanging out. I'm looking forward to chilling and grilling. Anyway, we're gonna go in, we're gonna uh, have a nice night on the town, sort of. And then, oh my goodness, we gotta drive that dark desert highway. Sorry, I slapped the table. And then, oh yeah, my gosh. we gotta drive these awful roads back to the beach camping spot. Down the dark desert highway, cool, cool wind, wind in, in my hair. hair. <laughs> Look, we're gonna get we're gonna get YouTube is gonna send us another one of those yeah. mega slap on the wrists. Ow! Ow! Stop singing, Chris. <laughs> we do have to drive down a dark desert highway, though. So yeah, whoa. We're going to take those and words. And we're in Toto Santos, yeah. which is Hotel California. We're going to take take those words and make them our own down this dark desert highway. we got to drive to our camping spot and set up for the night, and tomorrow we'll just chill. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're going to chill yeah, at the and grill, tomorrow we're and gonna tomorrow chill. we're going to chill. Watch some surfers catch some waves. We don't know that. Hopefully. We don't know anything about manana. We don't know anything about manana. Okay. Only thing we know about manana is it comes after today. Manana. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Catch you later. Lindsay, that inspired me to play my own tunes. Yeah. Here's the thing. If I start playing some chords, then YouTube's gonna flag me for copyright infringement. Because <laughs> Tom Petty only knew four chords. Jimmy Buffett only knew four chords. So if I play those four chords, am I gonna get flagged by YouTube for copyright infringement? I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, you wanna come join us? <laughs> Gee.